Cell phone etiquette an oxymoron? Well, we have etiquette experts joining us. Host of the Big Biz Radio Show, Sully and Rusty Nails are here. Hey, guys. Hey, 250 Sully. 250 million of us in the U.S. have a wireless account, or there are 250 million wireless accounts. And even scarier, 55 billion That's texts. That's everyone. <laughs> 55 billion text messages. Oh, your phone's That's, ringing. I left my phone in the car. 55 billion. This is the whole point. You're wasting time. You've got, a, you've got half a minute to tell us what you're Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A little poem for you, Dagan, later on in the program. <laughs> 5 billion text messages Dude, a I, month. That's 650 I paid text that. messages a year. I'll tell you, no. here's the biggest ones. The biggest Hold ones, number one, no, people it's using cell phones in the bathroom. I, no. Number two, doing it uh, at work go. in inappropriate uh, places. Uh, Webobble.com, which, uh, which makes a custom bobblehead. Bobbleheads. Everyone needs so, their own uh, bobblehead. Those are pretty cool. But yeah, some employees are involved in, or at least know somebody that's involved in an office romance. Stop it. All right. <laughs> Quit it. Sorry, Bob. Problem of all, letting your text messages do your dirty work for you. I got that with the Russians. What do you worry about text if message. you you get involved with somebody you work with, right? Only if it goes bad. Well, and that's how the often is that? It goes bad. Often. Well, it actually happens. Yeah, about about thirty percent of the time it goes bad. Then you have to stay there and live with that person. <laughs> Not only that, the romance after breaks up, but the courtship prior to. If you put a little rose on someone's desk, that shows you might kind of you know like the person. Yeah. If you put a camera under the desk, that's just wrong and creepy. <laughs> Don't laugh, man. This is going to catch on. Get out and get these. This is Recorder Hero 3. <laughs> and if you get it in time for the holidays, you're going to be able to bust out the holiday tunes. That's like good. It. That's re wait, re wait, re I got it. <laughs> and say you put a note on the windshield, that's good. But hiding in the back of the car till he gets home, that scares some people. <laughs> this helps, too. If you ever get your own middle seat, you can invite people to <laughs> sit by the window. Don't ever stand behind Russ ever. How's that? I got Russ a tickle me queer bow. Oh, Dog. my. This oh. year, it's, it's kind of cool if you if you if you tug on his arm, he he says certain things to you. You get the line. I pour the tequila. Let's get this party started. Oh. No, <laughs> I told you. I don't know what to tell you. I work with this every day. It's Go to bigfishshow.com. One thirty my time. Mr. Nails, you are a feature on this program every Friday afternoon, Friday, late Friday morning your time, but Friday afternoon our time. And I gotta tell you, yeah. I really do look forward to it. it, it it's always original. <laughs> I, Hold on. I'm tearing up. Okay. I gotta go. Give me a second. Okay. Absolutely. And Dagan, you know, I promise you my little poem. Oh, baby, here we go. Roses are red, violets are blue. Stewie's so lucky he sits next to you. Oh. <laughs> and I'm gonna. <laughs> You know what? He's kind of cute, too. And I love the pink tie, Stewie. It makes my day. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. 